let's start. And if you're new on this webinar, uh, we have these almost every Sunday, and they're of the name. I didn't come up with the name, someone else did. Uh, it's more humorous than it is anything else. The name of the webinar, I mean. So anyway, welcome to this Sunday School webinar. And uh, today we will talk about fear. The biggest success killer of them all. And I will start with, and this is pretty fundamental. Most people don't realize it, and the successful do. And that is that everything starts with an idea. Ideas are powerful. The chair that you're sitting on right now start, started with an idea. The computer that you, you're using to watch or listen on this webinar started with an idea. So everything starts with an idea. Ideas are powerful. And there is no other way. And you know that we talk about principles on these webinars. I keep coming back because it's so fundamental that that was count. Those are the principle. And I'm not I'm not only talking about the business you're in. I'm not only talking about right now. I'm talking about, you know, in the future. These things you can use wherever you are, wherever you do, wherever you go, uh, you know, you can use the principles. Facts, though, they change, you know, people change. And you got to get hold of the principles. You got to get hold of the, the red thread through it all. And that is money is a byproduct of who you are. And that is connected to what you're thinking. And those are the ideas. And performance doesn't come from the outside. That's why it really doesn't matter what kind of car you're driving or not driving if you have a powerful mind. Then you can drive any car that you want. Just an example, because what you have and what you don't have is a total sum of all your thoughts up until today. It can't be no other way. So if we take a look at this slide, what is it that hold people back? Well, it's, it's fear. And for most people, it's the fear of the unknown. What's coming tomorrow? What's going to happen when I do this? What's going to happen when I do that? What's going to happen? And so on, you know, if I join this thing or if I'm not joining or whatever it is. So the, the prospect that you meet, that you talk to, they suffer from this. Because most of the prospect that you will meet are not successful yet. Some some have done something before, you know, so they maybe have got hold of some of the principles we talked about here. But most people they suffer from the from fear and from fear of the unknown. And some people fear, you know, what they know also. 
And what, what is that? Well, for instance, you ask someone, or actually you show someone a way out of their life situation, whatever that is, and say, you can make a couple of extra bucks here, or you can, you know, join me and build a, you know, tremendous business. And they will say no, just because of the fear, because they, they fear, they, they fear more the, uh, you know, the unknown, the uncertainty of what's, what's going to happen. What, what, what are people going to think when I do this or, or, uh, you know, maybe if I don't succeed, you know, thoughts like that. But people also still have fear. Even though they make money. Can you believe that? Yes. That's why businesses blow up and people go astray and they do stupid things. They take decisions. They make decisions that's not... Uh, good for them or for others i just made made a couple of examples of you know fear thinking and a lot of people are playing the game of not to lose instead of playing to win you heard the expression all in or if you you know you go you go crazy about something and you just do it doesn't matter you don't think and that's also a good thing about becoming successful. Don't think too much because some people, they overthink. But that's one example of fear thinking. That is what people are, you know, a lot of people are doing. They are playing not to lose instead of playing to win. So they are playing safe. They do not. They that they, they do not go out on the limb. You know, they they are um, playing safe in everything. You know, they do too few or too little just because of the fear, or they they don't invest in themselves because they play not to lose, and they think that they're gonna look better if they don't succeed if they don't go all in, which is unbelievably crazy. Yeah. But a lot of people do this. So you should go to yourself and do your, your moral inventory of yourself. Do you suffer from this? I'm not saying that you are. It's, you know, no one can ever tell you anything. It's you are the captain of your ship. You know, but another thing that people do, you know, what if I don't make it? You know, they think they're going to look stupid if they don't, you know, succeed or reach their goals or you know, whatever. When it's the total opposite, because as soon as you do something, you're a winner. As soon as you accomplish something, you're a winner. Scarcity thinking, what is that? That is that they don't they don't believe that there is enough to go around so it's like fixed pie thinking that there's amount and everyone has to share that amount but i'm telling you there's no such thing there's more than enough there's more than enough because it's not about anything else than you and everyone else that want to be successful, they produce a service or a product that people want. And as as um, as you go by and people want your product, the money will come to you. So what's the product? Well, there could be uh, there could be the product. But listen, if you don't, if you haven't got it until now, you better. Get it now. The real product is you. 
you are the product they buy. Then you have products. But I'm telling you, people are buying you way before anything else. They buy who you are as a person, as a as, you know, sales rep or as a leader or you know, as a husband or wife, whatever. So who you are is way more important than anything else. And this is a great one. What shall they think? You know, that, that's some fear thoughts that people have. What shall they think? Who cares what people think? You got to get over it. You got to follow your dream. You just got to go for it. And don't, don't even think about what people, because most people, they don't think anything. That's just a, a big uh, lie in people's head. You know, what shall they think? And who cares what people who are, you know, have a negative mindset or, you know, dream busters, they want to kill your dream, what they think. Who cares what they think? It's about you now. And comfort zone, you know, people who doesn't, haven't done anything in life, they have a tiny comfort zone, which actually... Uh, give them fear thinking because they're not used to solving problems or be outside in the unknown, you know, and, and so on. So, and there's many more, many, many, many more, of course, ego is, is one big thing, you know, uh, people have big egos and that will kill their business. It's actually fear. Wow. What is he saying? So people with big egos, they are actually fearful. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. And if you want, if you if you have an urge, you need to boost yourself. You probably have fear issues. That's another webinar. So today I will actually go through a couple of things that is uh, will solve the fear thinking, and that is. You know, we use this slide a couple of times that we have choices every day. Your life is, you know, everyday choice. And what what actually leads to more fear in people's mind is indecisiveness. In this, write that down. Indecisiveness leads to fear. So that's why you need to have a plan. That's why you need to have goals to look forward to. That's why you need to execute. You need to, I'm doing it now. I'm just doing it. Just do it. And you can, you can take a look at people who, you know, they don't make decisions. They go back and forth. Oh, I don't know. You know, it's fear. And they will create more fear, which will lead them even further away from, you know, their success, their potential success, I should say, because everyone has potential. And, and it, that's why it's so important to have someone in the beginning, you know, a mentorship or someone that can, you know, kick you in the back and say, hey, come on, move, do something, you know, go ahead. And that's leadership. That's why that's why we'll need leaders. We need leaders to our, to, who are showing the way and say, hey, we can't wait. We've got to do this now. Oops. The cure for indecisiveness, I'm already talked about, is action. You know, for people who have a lot of fear, when they take action, the fear disappears. Isn't that uh, strange that you can actually be filled with fear and then you take action and whoop, it disappears. And you know what I'm talking about because you've done it. You've done it. And then when you've done something, you've actually, you know, widened your comfort zone and you've done something that you were afraid of before or you've done something that 
you know, you you were proud of yourself, so your self image is 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 uh, bigger, is better. But it's always action that is the cure for most things, actually. You know, just doing something. Don't sit down and think about things. Do something. You know, the cure is action. What kind of action? Any action. What do I mean by that? Well, if you, let's say, you know the power of the mind. You have a brain. That's that's the most valuable thing you have. It could be your best companion or your worst enemy. Depend on how you treat it. But you you are feeling low or you're not you you're not super excited or you know something has happened or you know whatever and you read a book is that taking action of course it is when you start reading that book your thoughts will change you will go into that information from that book i know it can be hard sometimes but that's why it takes discipline or you call someone, you you just um, you take a walk, you know, you you do the dishes. What? What are you saying? Yeah, I'm telling you, just do something, because any action will bring you out of your bad thinking, your fearful thinking. But what I'm, why, why did I mention a book? Because, or you'll start listening to, you know, uh, a webinar like this or anything, and your your thoughts will start to change because education breeds confidence, confidence, and confidence breeds hope, and hope breeds serenity, and serenity is peace of mind. That's why a lot of successful people, I will say almost any, I mean, really successful people, they have confidence. You know why they have confidence? Because they educate themselves. They were reading books, listening to tapes. They had mentors. They were mentoring uh, someone else or, you know, they were taking action. They had discipline. They were doing all these things. Because success does not appear like pure luck, you know, whoop, you know, maybe it does for there's always, you know, uh, someone that uh, is lucky, but I'm talking for, you know, everyone. Doesn't matter what, what planet you're on, I was almost going to say, but what country you're in. There's the same universal laws. Nothing is free. Nothing comes by chance. You attract or you produce the stuff that happened to you. Maybe you don't know it. That's why you need to listen to stuff like this. So you start learning the principles behind it. We attract a lot more than we think. That's where that saying comes from, that Jim Rohn used to say that you can have more than you have today because you can become more than you already are. So it's not that you go out and chase stuff, uh, you chase success down the road. You will attract success. It will come to you when you are that person that can handle success. Because and listen, this is this is for everyone. You were not born to make a living. Not, I mean, I don't know because I'm not, you know, the ruler of the universe. But I think we're all here to make a difference in some way, for someone, in something. That is why the best cure for fear is knowledge and knowledge comes from discipline you you can't you got to discipline yourself i had a mentor he said peter you got to build your um um your character 
because the character is who you really are, okay? And then you got to do that by discipline because there's no change without discipline, he said. And I remember I wrote it down and there's, he said, there's no change without discipline. And if you go back to what I said just a couple of minutes ago, I said, you will attract success when you change. When you become more than you are today, you will attract success. And if there's no change without discipline, you will stay the same and you will attract the same. Make sense? Yeah. And some people call that, you know, that they were they were unlucky or, you know, they were run out of luck or, you know, they were not in the, the right place at the right time or, you know, they blame it on stuff. But listen, if they heard the message, and they didn't do it, it's just the way it is. And that's why we need goals, because the cure for taking action. So, because some people, they can, they can understand what I'm telling you guys here on the webinar today, and they just go out and do it. And some people, they need goals, because they don't hear what I say, so they need something that they like, that they really want in life. They want some change or they want some financial situation to change and whatever. They want something, material things in life. And when they realize that, wow, can I have that if I just do these things? Yes. And they will start taking action. And when they take action, the fear goes away. But they don't realize that it's what it was because of the goals that was driving them, you know. The the goals that drive it's a driving force behind it. That's why we talk about finding your the why. You know, I've been my teachings has been the same the last 25 years, and I taught the leaders uh the same stuff that I taught people for like the last 25 years. And it starts with finding your why. It it does. You got to know why you do it. When you have a strong why, wow, it's easy. It's easy. But then again, you have people who study, they read books and they, you know, but they don't use the knowledge. So they have a lot of knowledge, but they don't they don't put it in action. So knowledge is not power. Power is knowledge in action. You get, you're getting some really good stuff on this webinar today, I'm telling you. So you, you better write it down. So this is how it looks. This is, this is the person. This is you, but it could also be your best friend or your mom or dad or family member or people that you know. This is people all over the world. We are all the same. And we can choose to go into flee mode, which is the left side, which is the bad side where all the negatives are. Or we can go into fight mode, which is the right side. And like I tried to explain here. So when people are fearful, they go in a fear mode that's left. That's, you know why people are envy to, uh, on other people? You know, because they have a lot of fear and they have a lot of fear thinking like, what should people think? And what happened when they're gonna do that? And instead of doing something, they try to destroy the other people's success by being they think that you know it will help them you know because it's so stupid to be in envy instead of asking someone how did you manage to do that show me i want to have that car or that was exactly what happened to me 30 years ago i asked the guy how did you get to buy that car can you show me and he said yeah i can show you instead of being envy i asked him how did you do it Actually, I was a little bit envy from, you know, first. But that little bit of envy is good because that will create more 
want, you know, that you you are looking for something. Anyway, so the left side is fear, envy, greed is also fear. You know, when someone is greedy, he doesn't he he hasn't he hasn't realized that that it's more than enough for everyone. You do, you don't have to be greedy. You can share with people. You can be nice. Hate is all other fear. But that's more obvious, of course. Gossip to gossip about other people is fear, and will take you further away from your success. That's this list could make you know, of course, very more things. Uh, you know, hundreds, thousands of things, but I'm just showing a couple so you can see that people are not successful who are in lower levels of Maslow's pyramid. They are living in the left side. They make left side decisions. And they will stay fearful, envy, envious, greedy, hateful, and and lazy. Because on the right side, those are the hardworking people, the people who have understand to take control of their thinking and to read books and do as, as they are told and, you know, be giving and, and, and they don't believe in, in, in greed. They learned through taking action in many ways that the right side is the successful way of living. It takes, for some people, years, of course. But it, the, the fun thing and, and what is interesting is that it never ends. That journey is what we call life. But you got to be on the right side. you got to be more percentage of your time on the right side than you're on the left side. That's okay to, you know, to fall off the wagon and start, you know, doing crazy stuff. But as soon as you realize it and then boop, go back to the, to the right side again. The right side is the right side. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this has turned out to be an awesome webinar. Whew, you, you're getting million dollars of information here. I hope you understand it. So that's why you never should base your decision from someone who hasn't done anything because they can't. If someone living on the left side, can that person give you an advice? I think not. But that's what most people do. They take advice from people who are living on the living in fear themselves. Woo! Go to the stick to the winners. Because those people, they don't have to deal with the results that you make or they make for you because they give you advice. If you're stupid enough to listen to them, you got to go to the people who are living on the right side themselves. I love this, you know. Because success, it means resistance. You you will meet resistance when you're on your way to success. If you don't have any resistance, that's not it's not true success. It's something else. Because success and problems are on the same side. You solve problems. People think the problems is on the left side. No, problems is on the right side because you you got to solve the problems. Problems is good. Because problems will make you stronger. Problems will make you successful. It's when you're solving problems. So can you see that that it's it's a lot of truth behind this? Can you see that right now we're solving problems? Yeah, there's a lot of you, thousands of people out there that that get 
you know, something that I tell on these webinars and they go like, wow, and they go out and solve problems. So we're actually solving problems right now. We are problem solvers. We are successful. So I will end with what I started today. The battle is not in the battlefield. It's in the minds of man. With that, I'm ending this webinar, and as always, go out there and change the world, step by step, day by day, and I'll see you next Sunday.